Hello everyone. Since the last few years, China and India has always had a love-hate relationship. While we can't do with them, we can't be do without them. In the recent past, if you see, China has been constantly infiltrating India from across all borders. And the common question amongst all nationalist Indians is, how do we fight the BG factor? How do we make India self-sustainable in terms of product and manufacturing? India's most powerful weapon against China is trade. And needless to say, India is a massive market for Chinese goods. Over the years, imports of goods from China has increased manifold. In the face of the recent standoff, ensuing between India and China, while we are constantly debating and debating the boycotting of the Chinese products. Let's get something straight here. We can never boycott Chinese goods because we have bilateral trade ties with China. Both countries are a part of the World Trade Organization, which rules do not permit India to put a blanket ban on Chinese products. Why are we stressing that we need to overcome challenges that do not allow Indian-made products to compete against Chinese goods? Why aren't the goalposts shifting from just make in India to also buy in India? China is constantly leveraging the Indian population to create an economic cushion for themselves, which signifies that the market is already prepped. All that we need to do is turn this buying inclination to our advantage. The foundation of framing the buying mindset in is already exists. All we need to do is replace it with Indian commodities. We must accept one reality. Chinese firms are using high quality labor and technology and are producing commodities more efficiently than the Indian producer. India exports much less to China, mainly raw materials, while it imports much more, mainly electronics and other manufactured goods, which is in high demand. So the solution to Indian trade deficit is clearly not a boycott of Chinese good, but a more efficient domestic industry. Within a short period, China has become India's single most important trading partner, source of import fourth largest export market of India's bilateral trade, with China hosted uh, almost almost about 71.48 billion in just between 2016 and 17. The second challenge is the face in the face of the incapacity of the Indian market to compete with the Chinese is because India has always had the different governments in different states and that in the center. As long as the state does not take responsibility that it will capitalize on infrastructure and enable manufacturing units which will in turn promote skill development as a part of their mandatory nexus, India will never be able to build a conducive production and manufacturing environment. The focus clearly needs to be on generating specialized skilled and global workforce that can catapult India into a manufacturing hub. While a few states are rich in natural resources, some in renewable energy and some in ports, like Gujarat and Kolkata, has a powerful infrastructure capacity. But unless the governments of the state do not interact with each other and expedite seamless interstate trade, facilitating without setbacks, India will never become a product-centric nation. Only once this ensues, the cost of manufacturing a product will diminish, thus having a pouring impact on its selling price. Then again, when you have to set up a manufacturing plant, you have to bear in mind certain crucial elements like waste management, renewable and natural energy sources, which act as a huge hindrance in India because we lag behind in their proper management. Aggressive pricing on the back of the state subsidy, a, a protectionist outlook and a cheap finance have allowed Chinese manufacturers to outprice Indian counterparts. The math is simple, my folks. The human psyche always chooses what is convenient and affordable, something that China has always been offering. When a consumer buys a product, given that he is not well informed about the quality of the product, the very core of the product manufacturing, and the next thing that instinctively, instinctively comes to his mind is affordability. Chinese products appeal to the mass and despite being short-term in nature, are widely accepted. If the difference in prices between India-made and Chinese-made products is minuscule, people will definitely buy Indian. But when the difference is substantial, Chinese products will be the chosen one. Bluntly speaking, money always conquers sentiment.
While making India sounds very emotionally appealing, the truth remains, if it does not fit the pocket of the consumer, they will never go for Make in India. Another challenge for India to become a product-centric nation is the rigidity in policies in India that need to be made a little more flexible. Make in India will never be successful if the government procurement policies are not made accommodating. By this, I denote when a tender is put up, why are the clauses not that flexible? Only enable large business conglomerates to bid. Why are the clauses not amendable enough for startups or make in India companies to pitch? Outdated legislation needs to be replaced. Bureaucrats need to be given a free hand and their progress monitored very, very closely. More infrastructure needs to be created in the form of boats, surface transport for the Indian made goods to find ground. Corruption needs to be stalled at all levels to ensure files move fast. Any policy on preferential domestic procurement will imply job creation, a priority area for this country. Buying Indian products will help small and big industry that will grow our industrial base. And when our industries will grow in number, our youth, skilled, unskilled, educated professionals will find job opportunities too. Plus, over the last 20 years, while India has focused on services, China focused on both manufacturing and products. As a result, China is now home to, the, home to several fast-growing brands. India needs to create several high-value companies to grow its U.S. $2 trillion economy in order to close the gap with China's U.S. $10 trillion economy. It's not about boycotting Chinese good, my friends. It's about making Indian market self-sustainable when it comes to manufacturing and producing goods. So let's make a better India together.